Welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. This is our slice of paradise. 250 mature olive trees and a big white house up here on the hill. And a high-tech fab lab down in the town. We run a small IT business, brew alcohol, press olives, teach young geeks, <laughs> grow fruit and veg, hunt, farm chickens, and experiment. But today, we're making olive oil down on Geeko Farm. We have half a dozen types of olives on our little farm. Small ones, large ones, some for eating, some for oil. A Barnea, Frantoio, Manzanillo. These are just some of the varieties that we totally fail to identify. Ever since our ancestor Senor Oliver left Spain for England aboard the Spanish Armada in 1588, the Olivers haven't been making olive oil. But now the Olivers are in New Zealand with 250 olive trees, and we're going to change that. So let's show you how we pick olives, which is going to be really interesting because we've never done it before. So um, safety is a factor. Jazz hands! You duh. Better put one of those on. And we'll get started. So we're going to try out the olive lacquer on these nice green olives, which will keep a while, and we'll see how far they go. to get 3.6 kilos out of our little tree in about five minutes. It's only half the tree, so we reckon one whole small tree gives us 7.2 kilos, roughly eight kilos, let's call it, um, in 10 minutes. And we need about five minutes to pick up the olives in the blanket and then move them on to the next tree and so forth. So we found that uh, a litre of olives weighs 0.56 kilos. Uh, the minimum batch size that uh, we can run through the mill is uh, 400 kilos. We'll pay for 400 kilos, uh, whatever our batch size. So uh, that gives the minimum volume of a batch at 714 litres. Uh, given it takes us 15 minutes to get 8 kilos, that means whole harvest is going to take us about 12 and a half hours. Okay, so then we come to storage. Um, we have eight 50 litre rubbish bins, uh, which gives us 400 litres of storage, which looked great when we thought it was about one kilo per litre, but it's not. We need roughly twice that. Fortunately, we've got four 60 litre storage bins to hand, which is 240 litres. Doesn't quite measure up to it, but uh, with the orange harvesting buckets, uh, we've got Another four of those, which gives us another 80 litres, which means we should, in theory, be able to have a 400 kilo harvest all stacked up in the back of the trailer. Here we are at the end of a long day's olive harvesting, and, as you can see, a substantial quantity of olive has been hoarded. It's been a tough day. So we've managed to get 700 litres of olives, which is about 350 kilos, um, and we're only on day two of our three-day harvest window. Uh, we definitely look like we're going to meet our 400 kilo target. We may even get half a ton or even more. And that will get us in excess of 50 litres of organic, spray-free olive oil. With the help of many good friends and some extra containers, we arrived at the olive press in Greytown to get our produce processed. So we thought we'd get uh, one box of olives, max, we've got a box and a half, which looks like about a ton. Um, let's go see how they get pressed. First, the boxes of olives are forklifted into a hopper on a cleaning machine, which employs a high-tech cleaning device to separate out all the leaves, sticks, bits of irrigation tubing, 
terminally surprised sparrows and so forth. The olives are then washed to remove all the uh, dirt and, well, bird poop that accumulates on them. And the clean olives are then transported on a conveyor up to the top of the mill. The mill grinds up the olives and drops them into the malaxa. The malaxa stirs the olives, allowing the little tiny globules of oil to accumulate into big globules of oil, and the resulting slurry is then pumped through a pipe into the press proper, which contains a great big screw which compresses the pulp and squishes out the olive juice. The watery component is roughly separated out, leaving a mostly oil component, which is then put into a centrifugal separator, which separates out the oil from the last dregs of the olive juice, leaving us nice olive oil. Uh, uh, some of it give to the people who helped us harvest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, and we're too generous for the day. Uh, we, we're, we're actually quite big uses of it ourselves. So after all that work, we ended up with 830 kilos of olives, which gave us 91.3 kilos of olive oil, which is nigh on 100 litres. Good haul. <laughs>